Hello and welcome everyone. Today we start with a discussion on this topic polity and governance. Basically the GS paper 2 of your syllabus. Uh, GS paper 2 has 4 or basically 5 components like polity, constitution, governance, social justice and international relations. We are going to talk, take up the three of those components that is polity, constitution and the governance part of it for now. <clears throat> now, when we talk about polity and governance, basically today's class will deal with the introduction aspect of it. We are going to you know, look at some very basic ideas such as we are going to start with the first and the foremost thing that you needed to understand here that is the constitution. Now if you have gone through your syllabus you know that constitution and you know constitution of India is a part of your syllabus. There are various provisions within the constitution of India and they have been included in your syllabus. Today's discussion would relate to our understanding. Today's discussion would relate to our understanding of what is the constitution? Now we are going to talk about this very idea. What is the constitution? We are going to talk about its functions. We are going to talk about the role that it plays in the society and why do we require it for our daily existence. So the very basic ideas we are going to deal with today very basic ideas. So let's start with our discussion on the very first discussion on this idea as to what is the constitution. Now, I, I hope that you know that the constitution is basically a document. Constitution is just a document and this is a document which might either be written or unwritten. Like if we take an example of some countries, in some countries such as US and India, countries such as US and India, countries such as US and India have a written you know, document and it comprises of various articles, various provisions, clauses and sub clauses and that very document, you know, there is one single codified document. The key term here being codified. That means it has been all these provisions have been put into a single document. That is the constitution for us. However, there is also a practice around the world wherein not all the countries have a written codified document. They also have like if we talk about countries such as UK. In countries such as now, in countries such as UK, the kind of, you know, the kind of constitution they have, we call it as what? We call it as an unwritten constitution. We call it as an unwritten constitution. Now, when I say unwritten constitution, you know, when I say unwritten constitution, it does not mean that the constitution is not written. It simply means, means that it has not been codified, not been codified in a it has not been codified into a single document. That is what simply it means. Clear? So it when we, when we say it is not been codified into a single document, which means it has various documents, various series of documents and also various kinds of judicial decisions that are there, they become the part of that very document called as the constitution there, like for example being UK. So there they don't have a single document called as the constitution of UK. There are various laws that have been enacted by the parliament of UK and that you know, that is a part of constitution. Similarly, there are various judicial decisions also that become the part of the constitution there. So when we talk about constitution, constitution can either be written or it can be, no, it also can be an unwritten constitution. Now, 
when i say constitution can be written or an unwritten constitution that is fine but still we have not yet answered what is the constitution <coughs> okay constitution is a document we have understood that constitution is a document we have understood this idea that constitution is a document but when i say constitution is a document what does this document signify basically laymanish if i no if i talk about it in a very layman term constitution is basically a set of rules or a set of basic rules it is a set of basic rules now constitution is a set of basic rules clear now <clears throat> when i say basic rules or when we say fundamental rules you know basic rules or fundamental rules like you know in any you know like uh, every you know if you look at every game you know every extra curricular activity in fact everything that we do in life we generally do what we generally follow a set of rules so we generally follow a set of rules that is what we do we follow a set of rules similarly when we talk about a country you now whenever we talk about a country how a country is governed country kaise chalta hai theek hai it's it's you know it it cannot run in a haphazard manner country you know running a country also requires a certain set of basic rules constitution is what constitution is basically the compilation of these basic rules or these fundamental rules it is a compilation of these basic or fundamental rules clear now whenever we talk about rules you no know, rules or for that matter whenever we talk about these basic set of rules can we say either it is dynamic or is it static it is dynamic that means it is something that it is something that keeps on changing it's not static obviously the environment is not static and depending upon the environment the conditions the circumstances what we do is we change these rules clear so what is constitution constitution is basically a document this document is no no it is it is a basic set of rules or fundamental rules that are there which is dynamic in nature no which is dynamic in nature so similarly like you know <clears throat> another you no know, i'll give you another example to understand it if we take the case of religion if we take the case of let's let's take a case let's understand this through an example of religion if we take an example of uh, any religion you will find that most of the religion that is there around the world they also have certain basic set of rules like you no know, these these rules might be mentioned in a book or you know something like that like for you know if we talk about hinduism hinduism has you know number of books but one of the fundamental books that we actually follow is gita similarly if you look at christianity christianity has what bible similarly if you look at you know islam islam has quran and these are basically what these are basically a set of guidelines all these documents that are there they are basically a set of guidelines that an individual should follow when an individual belongs to a certain religion similarly when we talk about the constitution constitution is what constitution is a similar you know a similar document that is followed by citizens and residents of that country 
तो जैसे हम रिलीजन में अगर नो मैं नो हिंदुइज्म फॉलो करता हूं और मैं हिंदुइज्म में अगर गीता की बात करूं या इस तरह के रिलीजियस नो रिलीजियस रिचुअल्स या प्रैक्टिसेस की बात करूं उसी तरीके से हर इंडिविजुअल जो एक पर्टिकुलर कंट्री में रहता है सपोज बी टॉक अबाउट इंडिया सो एवरी सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया एंड एवरी रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज टू फॉलो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो इट इज नो दैट बेसिक सेट ऑफ रूल्स clear so what is the constitution of india constitution of india is the basic rules you know it is a basic set of rules and it is dynamic in nature every constitution generally around the world a good constitution a good constitution needs to be dynamic in nature similarly <clears throat> it is also what it is also the basic or fundamental 